Hey, hi, this is Olivier, and you're watching the IoT Show. Today we have Paymon with us. Hey, Paymon, how are you? Hello, uh, very good, thank you. Good. And um, Paymon is going to talk to us about the Azure CLI and how to use it when working with Azure IoT. Okay, so, uh, well, first of all, who are you? Uh, well, uh, yeah, my name is Paymon Hedari. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. I work in uh, commercial software uh, engineering and um, work with you know partners and developers all over the world to improve Microsoft tools and services. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, he's, he's, uh, he's humble, but he's the one who's been developing that extension we're going to talk about for <laughs> Azure IoT. Uh, and, and so basically, tell us a bit about Azure CLI real quick, what it is, how it works, what technology it's based on, and then we'll, we'll dig into the IoT side of things. Uh, sure, sure. So um, Azure CLI is uh, your gateway into um, you know command line tooling um, for Azure services. So um, in general, it focuses a lot on uh, Azure Resource Manager. Okay. Um, so uh, you're able to you know create uh, resources and entities in those resources like you know IoT hubs, Service Bus, you know Event Hubs, etc. Okay. Um, and then uh, you're asking about the extension. And then yeah, so there's a, this notion of extension because what you're describing is like very high level. You create a service, you configure it. But um, specifically when it comes to IoT and Azure IoT, you need to do more. You need to interact with the, uh, the, the device registry. You need to interact with the device twins. And so you need right, to right. add more functionality, right? I exactly, exactly. So um, extension, extensions for Azure CLI uh, allows you to add on to or modify uh, existing okay. um, capabilities. So um, you know, that manifests itself by uh, adding uh, like new commands or you know, maybe an existing command needs to like, have additional components added to it. Uh, so you can modify that from extensions. So uh, you can almost think of extensions like uh, plugins for Azure CLI okay. that add new, new stuff, new features. And it happens so that there's one for IoT? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's one for IoT. Well, show, show us how that works. How would someone actually you know, get the uh, extension? Let's assume they have Azure CLI installed, right? Right, right. And then, like, show us how they would get the IoT extension, how they would work with it. So, uh, first, um, there's this uh, relatively new uh, command space um, called uh, AZ extension. Right. And so, um, if you want to see what are the available extensions out there, you can do a list available command. Um, so, there's an extension index out there. Uh, it's like a JSON file sitting okay. out there, and it has all the meta information about the um, extensions that you okay. can download. And by the way, Everything in the extension index is uh, Microsoft uh, only. Microsoft supported. Got it. Okay. So, um, you know, as we, you know, as we can see, uh, there's this uh, image copy extensions, um, and then um, here's the one that we're looking for: Azure CLI IoT extension. Okay. So um, what's the next step? So you know there's this extension. How do you install it on your machine? Right, and, and before we get to install, oh, I just want to make sure mm -hmm. that the uh, important detail that you want to see is this uh, AZXT min CLI core version. So this will tell you what the minimum version of your Azure CLI needs to be before you mm -hmm. can install. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be an additional check when you actually do the, the add command for when you're trying to install the extension. But okay. uh, keep keep a note on these meta details yeah. and Python versions. And is it fair saying that that's, we're talking about the Azure CLI v2, right? So that's the Python-based. Azure CLI. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's a Python-based Azure CLI okay. version two. Got exactly. It. Okay. All right. So now, um, if we want to remember the the name of this uh, extension up here. I, I don't know you do. Uh, <laughs> Azure I forgot CLI already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, you built it. You should remember. Oh right? well, you know, just <laughs> so much information. Okay, so AZ extension add name. Um, okay. And then the name of yeah, the extension. Name extension. Okay. Um, there, there are some uh, other methods of mm -hmm. installation. Um, so this, by doing it by name, this is the index method. Okay. Uh, you can also do it by source. Okay. Uh, so you can compile up the um, package into a wheel, which is Python uh, packaging format. Okay. And then um, instead of doing dash dash name, you do dash dash source. Okay. And then the path to that uh, wheel that you created. Okay. Um, and then we also provide. Uh, wheels for you to install from on our okay. uh, GitHub page. So you can do a pip install. Um, so uh, right now, we you you can do a pip install, but at the same time, um, we have uh, on the GitHub on the releases tab, uh, we recommend installing um, from here. Okay. So um, we have the latest and greatest. I exactly. As we're developing it. So the so it's on the GitHub Azure Azure IoT CLI extension. Azure IoT CLI extension. Okay. So That's the full right. thing is open source. Awesome. The, yeah, the whole thing is open source. Uh, we definitely welcome contributors, or if you have any ideas or um, you know suggestions for improvements, please let okay. us know. Cool, awesome. Um, and and all the installation instructions we're talking about are, are here. Um, okay. So. Nice. Okay, so so now that uh, this is finished installing, mm -hmm. um, we we have effectively augmented our uh, base uh, IoT commands. So. 
Um, uh, I guess we could have shown what it looked like before, but um, you know, uh, take my word for it. There's <laughs> new stuff here, <laughs> right? Okay. So you know, you'll see you know like uh, DPS and, um, Hub and edge okay. device, etc. So uh, for for any in, in general, for any um, time you need more information about CLI commands and parameters and whatnot, uh, you can um, append dash h or dash dash help okay. to it. So if we want to see all the things available. Um, in, in the hub uh, command space, we'll do you know dash dash help. Okay. And then it'll show you like everything that's available in that uh, command group. Got it. So and I then can create a new hub. I can uh, change some of the settings. Okay, got it. it exactly. Um, so you know, let's go over here. For example, oops, in the device identity. Um, you know, one more time. See what's available here. Okay. Okay. So I, I want to be able to. I want to create a device right now. Okay. So. Create. So you're, you're attached to an IT hub right now, right? So you, you logged into Azure through the Azure CLI. Um, how did you select the hub that you're working against? So um, okay, so Azure CLI has this uh, process. So um, as soon as you install it, what you want to do is log in to okay. the CLI. Um, there's uh, three methods of logging in. Um, you can do an interactive login, okay. uh, and what it'll do is it'll uh, bring up a link. Um, well, it'll, it'll bring up a code and, and a link. So you go to the okay. link, and then you type in the code, and that'll associate your user identity with the subscription. Okay, got it. Um, and then uh, another method is through uh, user principle, so you can directly type in you know, username and password. Okay. Uh, and then the third method is through a service principle. So um, that's in the case where you want to, uh, you know, maybe uh, do some continuous integration, continuous delivery, uh, use Azure CLI uh, in like a um, automated, like you know, DevOps sort of mm -hmm. fashion. Uh, you'd okay. go with the service principle route. Okay. Um, so all the all the helps that we've seen beforehand that was for command groups. So now okay. this is for an actual command. Okay. Um, it should show, uh, you know, not only the the parameters for the command. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and and also as you'll notice, I'll tell you the command's coming from the extension we just installed up okay. here. Um, so there's there's um, information about the parameters, and then at the same time, um, there's a few uh, examples and um, mm -hmm. how to make use okay. make use of it. Like typical, like what do you expect from a CLI tool, basically, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, no, love it. I, I like that it's so, so complete. So, so now you're creating an IT, uh, a device identity in your IoT hub. Yeah. So um, I I could have created uh, an IoT hub with the yeah. CLI, and that and actually that comes with the the vanilla um, IoT mm -hmm. uh, command module for okay. Azure CLI because it's you know ARM based. It, it's built for for okay. these kind of things, right? Um, so. I actually have a hub created uh, uh, for this demo okay. uh, because it's it's a long running operation and you know we have, we have a shorter demo fine. so <laughs> that's fine we're live. <laughs> um, so okay what so dash n um, you can see it's uh, you know short for <coughs> hub Good name device. and okay. I generally like to use the, the shorter names okay um, so I got uh, demo hub zero okay so that's the one hub in your subscription that has this name got it. exactly okay cool. Um, and then I'm going to uh, make a device. So let's just say, you know, my device one, um, and that should be it for your for okay. basic. There's there's some additional parameters, but what this will do by default is create it with the uh, symmetrical private key okay. based encryption. You can see here there's the shared private key X509 um, cert, uh, certificate authority and X509 thumbprint. Default it's the the shared private key. Got so it. okay. Okay, cool. so you know here's here's the the details from that device that we just made. Okay, so that's the equivalent of a get device, right? So if you if you actually ping the device registry using the SDK, whatever, you would get the same result here. I exactly, okay. exactly. Um, and then uh, actually, for the purpose of the demo, I'm just going to go ahead and make another one, which okay. we'll see why later. Oops. Okay. Um, so now, um, you know what? What are some interesting things we can do with this device? Well, uh, for one thing, uh, we could look at the device twin. Okay. So it's the the same details we had for creating device. Do you pick the the device hub name and then the device name you're interested in the twin? Okay. Right. And it's going to pull the device twin. Cool. Exactly. Nice. So so here's the device twin. And uh, let's say I want to um, add uh, a property um, mm -hmm. to the device twin, or, or let's say we, yeah, we want to add some tags, and maybe we want to uh, segregate by uh, location. Okay. You know, something typically you might see in the industry. Okay. All right, so I change that to update. Um, 
Um, so no, okay, there's a there's a set uh, update argument. Okay. Um, and so this will basically be like the the JSON input that I'm gonna okay. uh, append to the um, okay. uh, device twin. So we'll do location, um, and then uh, region. And then I'm always amazed how, how you guys developing. Writing JSON like naturally, like you were speaking. <laughs> I love that. So Stay then we can do <laughs> uh, maybe uh, North America or something. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the the most Tag. important part about this whole thing. Yeah, tags equal. There you go. Okay, so now the the, the tag is there. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I can see it. Tag location region and a nice. Okay, That's this, this is what the, <laughs> the JSON would look like. Okay, my, my bad. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, let's actually add, do the same update, but for my, the other device I made. Mm -hmm. And then let's say, we'll call this like uh, Europe. Okay. So now we're doing like one coming at, come in at a time because, because it's CLI, you can script all of that and you can start working on the collection of devices. You can automate all of that, right? That's exactly. The exact principle of having that CLI tool. Exactly. Okay, so I see that second device that now has that location Europe. Exactly. So um, now let's see, uh, like maybe you know, imagine we have you know thousands of these devices, and we're trying to you know uh, figure out like what's what. Uh -huh. um, there, there's actually a uh, query command okay. uh, that we can use, and um, the the query command um, will look. Let's say we want to filter by uh, devices that are in uh, Europe. Okay. Right? So. And then Q, and this is your uh, typical, um, you know, device to query language okay. that you know uh, you can find information on the Microsoft Docs. Got it. So uh, in general, we can see from well, your basic query here. Yeah. So you're going to get all the devices, there, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's basically the two of them, or. Th and, and there's, there's actually there's actually a third one for uh, something that I'll show later. Okay. But at least the, the two devices that we created, my device one. And my device two. Yeah, so my device one and my device okay. two. Yeah, yeah cool. and the yep. locations and all yep. that stuff are there. OK. So now, we'll add the word. This is like where tags.location. Equals your easy. And we should get the one device, right? Nice. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, so query works through the Azure CLI extension for IoT. Love it. Um, so uh, another thing um, that I was thinking that we could do is I have uh, over here um, just a sample um, method, device method that, okay. that we can set up. And um, so uh, that's a node application, right? It's using the node SDK. Exactly. And you input a connection string up there. And so you're basically just reacting to a, to an invoke of a, of, a, of a method, right? Right, right. Okay. So, so I've, I've registered one method on um, okay. the callback here, and it's called the right line. OK. Um, and then it should basically spit out uh, what I sent it. OK, let's see what it says. And the device is running, right? Yeah, I'll uh, definitely have to run that. OK, cool. And let's see where that command is. OK, so we'll have the device name, the hub, um, and then there'll be the uh, yeah, method so name, okay. or yeah, and then um, a, a payload of some kind. So I'll just say um, JSON again. It, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course, everybody's favorite. Okay. So now you're invoking the methods, and it told you that you received it yep. and it worked. Awesome. Exactly. 
cool. So you, you have your whole, so it's not just a bug actually, you can actually implement all the CICD and even interaction with IoT app configuration, device interaction through the Azure CLI extension for IoT. Yep, that's right. Awesome job, Payman, love it. So um, you can learn more on the GitHub page. Thanks, Payman, for uh, that introduction to the Azure CLI extension for IoT. Thank you, yeah, definitely glad to be here.